arrived in Cranbrook in 97 because um, there were just more opportunities here for Tyson as a kid growing up with all the sports activities and better schooling and, and stuff like that. Uh, it was uh, quite an easy choice to make. Tyson, I think, got influenced uh, when I used to tell him I took uh, Taekwondo martial arts when I was in my late teens and early 20s and had quite a bit of fun doing it and uh, it was great for conditioning and, and uh, you know, the whole package deal of it involving with the martial arts. And then Tyson said, he says, uh, I'd like to do this. And I said, well, the only way you're going to do it is you have to work out for two to three months first to get involved with it because otherwise you're going to go there to work out's going to be too difficult and like 90% of the students you will quit and uh, that's how it started. I went to TM Roberts Elementary School from kindergarten to grade six. Uh, I grew up playing hockey and tried all different kinds of sports and hockey seemed to be the groove for a long time and then started going to middle school and kept playing hockey and Went to Japan in 2009 for a hockey tournament actually and it was a really good experience and then started getting into high school at uh, Mount Baker High School here in Cranbrook and after that I started doing a bit of martial arts like Taekwondo to start with and uh, kind of just blossomed from there. My coaches, uh, I started off doing Taekwondo with Simon Washan. Uh, I currently don't do Taekwondo anymore but uh, it was really good, I liked him, he's a really good coach pushing everything like a normal coach should. Uh, and I started doing the Muay Thai, and that's with Joel Hunkar, and he's been my coach since day one. Uh, we're on the same page with a lot of things, we gel really good. And uh, a lot of times if he can't go to a tournament or something, my dad will be my coach, and he's my dad, so he knows me pretty well. And uh, yeah, it's been good so far. So I have a lot of different types of uh, medals, trophies, Plaques, I have a pair of nunchucks, some swords, a uh, certificate for a black belt. Um, this is the start of the WKC run, this was the provincials. Uh, that was in continuous sparring they call it. And then I went to Ottawa and got this one, a little bigger, a little shinier of course. And then uh, the Ireland medal is uh, this one here, they got like the Celtic symboling in, this, uh, in between. And uh, it's engraved on the back too, you can't really see it though. And uh, my most recent win and most proud win is uh, this Muay Thai championship I just won in Toronto last week. It was for Muay Thai Canada in the uh, Canadian National Championships. I won first in my weight and age. And the rest is kind of just, I don't know, just years of training and putting in the work and lots of experience on this table here. So the few weapons that I have here, there's a pair of nunchucks and two swords. Uh, these were won in Fernie in a sport karate tournament. And uh, they wanted, let's open this here. They wanted like a different prize instead of medals because everybody has medals all the time. So they had these, this is one year and then the nunchucks were a different year. So I thought they were really like unique medals, right? So this poster was for my amateur debut, uh, October 17th, 2015. And uh, Mike Cunningham, I trained with him, and uh, he was really happy for me going into the amateur scene and uh, actually starting with it. So he made this poster, we got one for the gym, I got some fight t-shirts made, so there's a lot of hype around Cranbrook for me going to compete in Calgary.